We can sit back, do nothing, and watch our planet be destroyed. Or we can take action, become advocate, and start making lifestyle choices which are kinder to people and the planet. A very warm good morning to one and all present here. My name is Barbie, a student of BA semester first, and I'll be your host for today's program. To begin with, I would like to invite Muskan for welcome remarks and a brief summary on the topic. Good morning to all of you. It is my privilege that I'm standing here on this stage and been given the opportunity to say warm words of welcome on behalf of Environment Unit of my College of Education. I, Muskan Adhaka, student of year first semester, extend a warm welcome to all of you on this program, online webinar on e-waste and awareness session on solid waste management. Who doesn't want to create a world where the environment doesn't need protecting? E-waste. E-waste contains a laundry list of chemicals that are harmful to our society. We only recycle 10% of our e-waste, a number that's as shocking as it is depressing. As for 90% we don't recycle, it ends up getting incinerated landfill. Talking about solid waste management, the primary goal of solid waste management is reducing and eliminating the adverse impact of waste material on human health. With this, it gives me an immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to our worthy principal and director, Dr. Adit Gupta, who is a powerful mentor, always full of energy, as fresh as ever. Sir, your endless guidance and support prove that you are a great leader. We are really blessed to have a principal like you. With a thankful heart, we welcome you, sir. I extend my warm welcome to Mrs. Rupa Gupta, Joint Director of Maya College of Education in Absentia. I extend my warm welcome to Dr. Moolraj Sharma, HOD PG Department, and Dr. Ronika Sharma, HOD UG Department in Absentia, Deputy HOD of both the departments, Dr. Vishtha Raina, in Absentia, Dr. Monica Bajaj. I welcome our esteemed faculty members for their presence here. I would like to welcome all the students of UG Department and expect for your kind cooperation throughout this program. It is an honor to be surrounded by so many special and to be blessed in the fellowship of this program. Thank you. Thank you, Muskan, for a warm welcome. Your consideration is sincerely appreciated. Now, I would like to call upon stage Mrs. Suman Gupta, ma'am, in charge of Environment Unit to, to give a brief introduction about the program. Thank you, Vadi. Now, good morning, all. It is wonderful to see you all. Today, we all are gathered here to learn about waste management, particularly e-waste management, solid waste management, and vermicomposting. E-waste, e-waste are electronic waste described, discarded electrical or electronic devices, for example, discarded phones, laptops, parts of computer and TV, etc. The main objective of e-waste management and disposal is to recycle waste. So to learn more in detail about e-waste management, we will be attending a webinar hosted by the Karo Sambhav Agency. So you all must be aware of four R's, refuse, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So in this session, we will learn how these four R's are useful for waste management. Now waste management means managing waste and waste aggregation is dividing waste material into categories of dry and wet. To give you more insight about waste management, today the Environment Unit of my College of Education has organized a lecture on waste management and vermicomposting and the resource person is Dr. Monica Bajaj, Deputy HOD of UG Department. She had abundance of knowledge related to this field. So I welcome you, ma'am. Also, I welcome you all present here. Now I am going to hand over the mic to Bari for her next proceedings. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. But Earth is our mother planet and it is responsibility of every citizen to save it. 
So let's take some necessary steps like reusing, reducing, recycling and cutting down to what we throw away. With this, let's start with our webinar on e-waste. Hello. I welcome Mr. Suraj, Suraj Kapoor, the Regional Manager of Karo Sambhav Agency and Mr. Omkar Banu for conducting the webinar. Welcome sir, you may start. Hi. Uh, am I audible to everyone? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, audible. Sir. Can you see me? Yes, sir. Yeah, great. Uh, I'm sharing my screen. Give me two minutes. Uh, so uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Omkar Ganu and I am connecting all the way from Pune, that is Maharashtra. And uh, I'm a graduate of environmental engineering and I have been working in environmental conservation field with various NGOs, various technical institutions from last eight years. Today, I am here to tell you a little bit more about e-waste management and uh, how can you all contribute in saving planet through managing your e-waste. So that is the principal theme of today's session. Um, I'll quickly jump into the session, that, uh, starting with a question that what is e-waste? So uh, all of us, we know we use some or the other kind of electronic product. Um, and after a few years of uh, working, uh, these products stop working. So like they become unwanted, non-working or technology purani ho jati hai. And the impact of it is uh, we throw it, either we give it to a local scrap dealer, kawadi wala, either we throw it into dustbin or we keep it stored in our households. So right now, uh, only a few months back, I purchased a new mobile phone and my old mobile phone, which is uh, not working, that is still lying in my cupboard. So uh, there are two principal categories in e-waste that is IT and telecommunication equipment e-waste and consumer electrical and electronics. So in IT, computer, laptops, notepads, mobiles and consumer electrical and electronics may refrigerator, air conditioner, washing machine, ye sab aata hai. Uh, according to many surveys which uh, recently took place, uh, an average cell phone user changes its mobile phone once in 18 months. So uh, this is a very shocking uh, survey uh, that came up. And if we recycle 1 million smartphones responsibly, we would be able to recycle, like get 9,000 kgs of copper, then silver, gold, and palladium. These many metals we would be able to extract from these uh, e-wastes. Uh, these days, uh, a new concept of urban mining is emerging. So instead of mining uh, in nature, if we can mine our electronic gadgets in, uh, which are trapped into our urban surroundings, uh, we would be able to generate a lot of resources again. And we would be able to save environment as a uh, consequence of it. In e-waste management rules 2016, um, categories and average lives of e-waste uh, were defined. So there are around 20 categories of e-waste, 15 are under IT and 5 are under uh, consumer electronics and electricals. So each uh, category of e-waste has a defined uh, average life. Uh, it's not like the other average life of our TV is nine years, say, according to rules. No, Sadi Chalnachi TV. TV may uh, last up to 15, 20 years as well. But it is very important to uh, define an average life and why I am going to address this in a further part of presentation. In 2016, when a Global e waste Monitor did a survey across the world, it was found out that in 2016, 44.7 million tons e-waste were generated, which weights up to 4,500 FN tons. What is more shocking than that is in 2019, 
when another time second time evis uh, monitor did the survey the findings were shocking we generated 53.6 million metric tons of e-waste all across the world so uh, just by this comparison we are able to see ki e-waste generation is increasing day by day and it is it has been estimated ki just in this decade 2020 to 2030 e-waste is going to rise by 38% as we all are aware uh ki how crucial this particular decade is for climate change for oceans on the one hand all the nations are talking about uh how we can save our planet uh, how we can stop climate change on the other hand our e-waste production is increasing day by day so that is something that is very shocking and contradicting in the world uh, like when i like discovered this ki india is the third largest producer of e-waste in the world very recently until very recently 6 uh, months back i was like in a dilemma ki uh, india kitna hi karta hoga e-waste production but when i referred to the reports and all i found out that india is uh, third largest producer of e-waste in the world just below america and china which is very huge and uh, state wise agar uh, distribution dekha jaye then maharashtra is uh, the state uh, from where i belong uh, which generates most of the e waste in india like 20% e waste in india um, it's not like uh, jammu and kashmir do not produce any e waste but uh, top mein maharashtra aata hai because it is इंडस्ट्रियलाइज पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा है एंड फाइनेंशियल कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया मुंबई इज इन महाराष्ट्र सो दिस आर फ्यू रीजंस फॉर व्हाई महाराष्ट्र इज एट द टॉप ऑफ ई वेस्ट जनरेशन सो व्हाई ई वेस्ट नीड्स आर अटेंशन वी सॉ ऑल द डेटा ग्लोबली क्या हो रहा है इंडिया में क्या हो रहा है let us jump more in depth ki uh, what is the situation on ground right now as i said in 2019 india um, became third largest producer of e-waste in the world back in 2016 we were at four, fourth place in a couple of years in just 3 years of time we became third largest producer so you can imagine the extent at which e waste generation is increasing around us on one hand we are third largest producer and uh, at the same time in india over 95% of e waste is handled by informal sectors informal recyclers which use unscientific methods of recycling while using unscientific methods more than 4 to 5 lakh child laborers are involved in e waste management field so um, we have seen many uh, children working dismantling electronic parts uh, burning cables in small small rooms so that bahar se kisi ko pata nahi chalega ki yahan pe burning ho raha hai so burning uh, in small small rooms and uh, which is very toxic why e waste is toxic because uh, just for example uh, we take uh, any electronic cable that has copper in it but the insulation around that uh, copper wire is uh, made of plastics and uh, rubber uh, like insulating material when we burn it very poisonous gases like dioxins get released into atmosphere and dioxin is found to be one of the most poisonous gas uh, known to nature so uh, this is one of the part uh, e waste why e waste is dangerous because it is being burnt in an scientific way and uh, just for saving the costs and in all the burning processes and recycling processes as i mentioned around 5 lakh children are involved all over india and when this burning happens it has direct implication on our health 
we are prone to lung cancer kidney failure brain damage and asthmatic bronchitis these are just a few um, effects on human health there is a huge list of effects on human health there is a specific impact on environment as well uh most of the times in unscientific ways when e waste is recycled uh, as i mentioned air pollution happens because a lot of burning is involved on the other hand um while dismantling batteries whatever batteries are there uh unko phoda jata hai completely and whatever lithium and other uh, metals are there which are toxic those are directly released into water and into soil so it poses a threat of groundwater pollution as well as soil acidification one more practice that is very um, like popular among unscientific um, recycling that is use of cyanide based baths so whatever uh, heavy uh, not heavy precious metals are there inside e waste to extract that cyanide baths are used and after using cyanide baths whatever residue uh, has remained that residue is thrown away into gutters nalas or in the soil causing uh, water pollution and soil pollution as well let me give you a very classic example of um, like effects on human health and environment as well so uh, in japan uh many years back uh, there is a bay called as minabata bay and in that bay there was a factory uh, which used to use mercury as one of its catalyst not even a uh, by product but its catalyst due to some changes in the process uh, some of the mercury started uh, entering into water their waste water and that waste water used to go to this minabata bay this particular example revolves around mercury and why i am telling you this because mercury is one of the heavy metals that is present in the e waste so when this mercury uh, came into this minabata bay this huge water body the fish there and the uh, ecology there started accumulating e uh, mercury in their body and when fishermen caught these fishes and sold it into market there was a huge epidemic and nobody knew what is happening and why people are dying around uh, 1700 people died because of this eating fish which are um, like which has higher concentration of mercury in their bodies 1700 people and when post mortem was done it was found out that it is because of mercury pollution so fish is eating that mercury that is uh, coming into water and we are consuming that fish so ultimately we are getting poisoned by that mercury so steps were taken and um, this epidemic was stopped at that time but this was an alarm for all the humanity that how dangerous any heavy metals and e waste could be this example although is not particularly um, connected with e waste pollution but one of the component in e waste that is mercury so wherever e waste is being unscientifically recycled that will have impact on our air our water our soil and our food as well so whatever we are eating that will have direct impact on it so that's why we need to be aware about uh, e waste and uh, everyone needs to contribute with this i am going to come to uh, what we are going to do about it. one of the things in waste management when government came to know he this much huge issue is there in 2016 government came up with waste management rules and my question to all of you how many of you are aware about waste management rules you can raise your hands 
Okay, I can see one person, two, two, three people. Okay. Um, so very few people are aware about e-waste management rules, right? In India, only 34% of people are aware about e-waste management rules. And that is something very shocking. In these rules, a new kind of policy approach that was introduced, that is extended producer responsibility, EPR. So EPR kehta kya hai? So um, basically, let me give you one example. Ki if I am using a mobile phone from Redmi, I am using Redmi ka mobile phone. So I purchased it a few months back only from Redmi company or one of the dealers. Um, when after three, four years, maybe when this mobile phone starts, uh, stops functioning, kharaab ho jayega aur useful nahi rahega mere liye, tab jis company ne mujhe ye mobile phone becha hai, that company is responsible for its end of use treatment. So ye mobile phone recycle karne ki zimmedari uh, Redmi company ke ho. इससे अचीव क्या होता है कि जो बना रहा है जो बेच रहा है जो प्रॉफिट कमा रहा है उस पे दैट कंपनी इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर इट्स ट्रीटमेंट इससे होगा क्या तो व्हाट एवर मटेरियल दैट इज बीइंग पुट इनटू मार्केट दैट मटेरियल विल अगेन कम इनटू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सो यहां पे इस चार्ट में दिया है कि फर्स्ट वी एक्सट्रैक्ट मटेरियल्स फ्रॉम नेचर वी मैन्युफैक्चर एंड वी यूज and jab kharab ho jata hai then we have two options either we dispose either we recycle recycling say what will achieve we may be able to extract some metals and materials that can be again used into manufacturing and that will essentially reduce material extraction from nature so on the one hand disposal se jo pollution ho raha hai wo kam hoga और मटेरियल एक्सट्रैक्शन पे जो पोल्यूशन हो रहा है वो कम होगा और ये लायबिलिटी कंपनीज के पास ही है इसका इंपैक्ट रहेगा कि कंपनीज विल स्टार्ट डिजाइनिंग सच दैट रिसाइकलिंग ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्ट विल बी इजी और कम कॉस्ट लगेगा रिसाइकलिंग में एंड दिस इनेबल्स अ सर्कुलर इकॉनमी जैसे मैंने बताया कि आज तक वी वर फॉलोइंग अ मॉडल ऑफ लीनियर इकॉनमी वेयर वी यूज्ड टू एक्सट्रैक्ट मटेरियल्स फ्रॉम नेचर we make products and things out of it we use them and once their use is done we throw them we dispose them in circular economy we use things like we make things we use things we recycle it we again make things from it we use it we recycle it this allows us to extract maximum value of resources and that's why Uh, circular economy is very crucial in this time of climate change so in these e-waste management rules there were a few stakeholders which were identified so central pollution control board who defines um, like the guidelines and procedure which needs to be uh, executed inside these rules who keeps an eye on uh, producers who allots targets to producers कि हाउ मच ई वेस्ट नीड्स यू नीड टू रिसाइकल लाइक दैट स्टेट पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड मॉनिटर इन देयर स्टेट्स क्या सिचुएशन है ई वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट का अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज वेन एवर एनी काइंड ऑफ ई वेस्ट इज एंड अप इन टू म्यूनिसिपल वेस्ट अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू कीप इट असाइड एंड सेंड इट फॉर रिसाइकलिंग recycler and dismantlers are uh, mandated to make sure that no bad practices bad environmental and bad social practices are used in e-waste recycling and no pollution will happen and there are a set of procedures that recyclers and dismantlers needs to follow then about producers producers are mandated to uh, take hold of the recycling so whatever products they are selling into market central pollution control board assigns some target to producers and producers are uh, supposed to meet those targets targets of recycling then the refurbisher 
if you have heard about uh, cashify store so what cashify store does is cashify uh, purchases old uh, electronics uh, repairs it and resells it so refer uh, cashify store is one of the refurbisher and in the process of repairing if there is any e waste generation cashify is responsible to re, uh, recycle that one of the most important part is port authorities previously what used to happen is many european and american countries used to send their e waste through seas to our india our nation just for recycling or dumping after e waste management rules were rolled out port authorities are uh, responsible are mandated to make sure that no e waste is being uh, transported and illegally uh, shipped to india and if a port authority is found something like that they are supposed to intimate central pollution control board immediately and then there are consumers and bulk consumers so responsibilities of consumers so uh, just a minute so our responsibility as a consumer as we all are consumers to hand over our e waste to authorized collection points and take back channels of producer that can be a authorized pro dismantler or recycler what is a pro i am going to brief you in a further part of presentation but uh, as a consumer of electronic goods we all are responsible to recycle our e waste responsibly then there are bulk consumers if you have like can you observe the first slide wahan pe maine mention kiya tha bulk consumer awareness program so your institute is one of the bulk consumer so what is the uh, definition of bulk consumer any organization or institute uh, or facility which has 1 crore se zyada turnover or 20 se zyada employees who generates e waste in bulk so responsibilities of bulk consumers are to hand over e waste to authorized take back channels of producers only or collection points maintain records of e waste in form 2 and submit annual returns to state pollution control board many of the um, institutes organizations and i i would say all of uh, like most of them are not aware that they are liable to submit annual returns and re responsibly recycle their e waste so we are encouraging people to responsibly recycle their e waste so we saw the problem is very huge starting from global scenario its impacts on environment health e waste management rules and individual responsibility in india uh, it has been found ki each person generates around 6 kg of e waste in a year so my kind uh, urge to you is ki make sure that uh, from now onwards you will recycle your e waste you can find the rosambos collection center in your city uh, we have a collection center in jammu so you can visit the collection center and dispose your e waste responsibly recycle it and there are a few do's and don'ts so um, today when you will go home identify whatever electronic products that are there lying into your home which needs recycling you can reach out to your brands and check out their collection systems and visit a collection center or point to dispose your e waste as i mentioned karosambhav is one of the organization which runs uh, e waste collection points before giving your e waste to any uh, recycling center make sure that you back up all the data and remove your personal data in karo sambhav we use a best practice that whenever we come across any data storage device for example hard disk we make sure that we physically destroy um, that hard disk like drilling uh, in that hard disk so that data is securely destroyed 
एंड मेनी ऑफ द टाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस कि राइट नाउ अगर मैं मेरा एग्जांपल दूं तो आई परचेज अ न्यू फोन फ्यू मंथ्स बैक एंड माय ओल्ड फोन इज स्टिल इन माय कबर्ड स्टिल इन माय ड्रॉवर एंड इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू विजिट अ कलेक्शन सेंटर और कलेक्शन पॉइंट व्हिच इज अराउंड 4 किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम माय होम सो व्हाट आई कैन डू इज we can you can arrange a collection drive at your community or organization and responsibly recycle your e-waste what are the don'ts uh do not attempt to open any electronic product do not sell your e-waste to unauthorized agency or scrap dealer nearby you this is a very crucial point because we tend to give our e-waste to nearby kawadi wala and that's not the good practice we need to inculcate and do not store old electronics at home and delay recycling so many of the times what happens ki uh, if there is some festival what we do is um, we start cleaning our home and in that we found a lot of e-waste wires cables and we either throw it into dustbin or either store, uh, send it to kabadi wala give it to kabadi wala this is what happens personally with me so um, what i urge people is to not store anything at home because jab bahut sara ho jata hai na then you get tempted to throw it somewhere immediately and get rid of it so make sure that jis enthusiasm se hum naye products lene jate hain market mein electronic products may be tv mobile ac whatever make sure to recycle the old ones responsibly a little bit about karo sambhav our mission is to make recycling a way of life we are an organization a pro producer responsibility organization jo producer ke behalf se awareness create karne ka collection karne ka aur responsible recycling karne ka zimmedari leta hai so we create awareness we collect e-waste and we responsibly recycle e-waste we have 40 more than 40 centers in india and more than 6 million people are engaged to our uh, awareness initiative we have recycled till date uh, more than 21000 metric tons of e-waste and uh, that's why i am here with this message uh, to all of you that start recycling your e-waste you can help us by arranging a collection drive in your organization institute and uh, make sure that every one of you re- uh, responsibly recycles your e-waste so uh, that's majorly what i wanted to say today sorry i am a little bit over time if you have any questions any doubts about whatever i told um, you can ask those questions right now any questions <laughs> any question mujhe wo kisi ko nahi na ye se kuch puchna tha okay no issues if you have any questions you can reach out to me over email or over phone um suman ma'am uh, must be having my phone number so you can you feel free to contact me anytime and i am available so thank you so much for giving me uh, this lovely opportunity i'll share a feedback form with suman ma'am uh, she will distribute um, it to your group and they would love to hear from you how was the session for you even we had a little bit of time crunch i try to like make sure that most of the points are covered in your presentation but we are conducting such kind of awareness all over india and um, as you all are expert in teaching things uh, so i would really like to love from you ki how was the session and how can we improve on this session what new points we need to inculcate 
and how this can be uh, made more interactive so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank oh, you sir thank you we have a wonderful session thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir i hope through this webinar we are more familiar with the concept of e waste with this i extend a warm welcome to the resource person dr monica bajaj hod of the ug department and out to believe your sense of commitment sacrifice and service immense patience and responsibility play a key role in our group ma'am will enlighten us with some uh, will enlighten us by throwing some light on solid waste management ma'am please thank you barbi then hmm isko stop kar do ha na isko stop kar do तो मेरी बैक आएगी ना इसमें यस गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे यू ऑल नो वी आर गैदर्ड हेयर फॉर जस्ट हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट वेस्ट टू द टाइटल स्लाइड इज वेस्ट टू गोल्ड एंड यू विल बी लाइक शॉक्ड हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट वेस्ट टू गोल्ड दिस इज अ वेरी शॉकिंग waste we throw everything in our dustbins and can you uh, just imagine putting uh, just uh, taking out from the waste and saying it is gold it is very uh, like uh, shocking to everyone listening waste to gold right you people are very much aware about that this type these types of waste are coming out uh, coming out from our homes every day we are throwing some of the metals in the dustbin paper we are throwing in the dustbin glass material sometimes it breaks and we throw it in our dustbin no doubt we are very conscious at that time we wrap it very carefully and throw in but ultimately throwing it in the dustbin only then plastic waste every day you are taking food from the canteen it is wrapped in some plastic uh, uh, material cold drink you are taking it is made up of plastic and we are throwing it in the dustbin only then some of the food waste everybody is having a food item in their bags now i suppose right and you will just eat that food if it is wrapped in some paper you will definitely throw that paper in the dustbin and har ghar mein khana banta hai aur hum us khane ko waste bhi karte hain and the waste food we throw in the dustbin now in this organic waste we have vegetable waste also and nobody consider that it can be converted into black gold it can be converted into black gold so that is organic waste which we usually throw it in our dustbin daily that dustbin is uh, like uh, one plastic uh, wrap is there we take out it from the dustbin and throw it in the municipal garbage site we every day we do this kind of activity and in that uh, we have organic waste also then some of the batteries uh, light bulbs or e waste which uh, the other resource person has talked about uh, that uh, how we can just uh, uh, use it uh, recycle it reuse it or just uh, reduce the amount of generating that e waste so my focus is on how we can convert organic waste into gold right the best way first of all is to segregate the waste because when it is uh, together it is very difficult to segregate each and everything if you are putting any glass material in uh, one dustbin the kitchen waste in the same dustbin and the same uh, any electronic waste you are putting in the same dustbin then it is very difficult to segregate okay ab ye vegetable waste hai to isko kaise alag kare so what do you do what you have to do you have to initially segregate the waste we can have different dustbins at our homes or the electronic waste it is not required to put it in the dustbin directly it can be kept in one of the cupboards that is not uh, like uh, going to harm uh, anybody so better to 
keep it aside then uh, some uh, plastic bags uh, canes we can keep it also at separate place so everybody is having i think itna space to har kisi ghar mein hai ki two boxes lagaye ja sake jisme aap one sort of plastic uh, jisko aap raddi wale ko bhi de sakte hain they can be that can be kept or electronic waste that can be kept in one of the cupboard and one kitchen uh, waste that dustbin you all have in your kitchens and uh, we put it in maximally we put uh, that uh, food waste in the dustbin what we have to do with that organic waste the thing is uh, like this picture is uh, i think telling most of the things the three r's approach it was initially three r's approach now we are adding more and more r's in it one is reuse reuse suppose one example uh, we people use uh, uh, plastic uh, cups many times in many of the functions or if we are on travel we use uh, plastic mugs carrying along with us so that ki kahin bhi fenk denge and we do it we do it better aapne apne hi to peena hai what we can do once you have taken water next time again you can take water in that right so that is one of the examples we can reuse that kind of thing then reduce if not required please don't buy the things if not required don't take anything from uh, anywhere extra by that you can just reduce the amount of waste generated then recycle recycling as e waste resource person he has also told you that we can go for the recycling process now one picture is there there are plastic bottles you can just see it these plastic bottles are really environmentally harmful what we can do we can just make one small hole inside it put small uh, uh, soil in it plant any of the uh, sapling it will grow definitely it will grow and in the back backyard of the college you can i think you all have seen that part there is a, a one boundary wall on which we have same kind of uh, thing plastic bottles and plants are in that bottles so in backyard we will show you that part also so in this way at your homes also we can reuse the plastic bottles or if you are not uh, in love with plants so what you can do you can give it to raddi wala local scrap pickers you can see newspapers you all keep i don't consider anybody that they are throwing dust uh, newspapers in the dustbin because you know by giving dust uh, you will store you are storing that of uh, newspapers and giving it to radivala same way the other parts which can be recycled which can be reused or decomposed by some of the authority they can be given to radivala this is one way we can do at our home intentionally or unintentionally sometimes we are doing that part we are keeping newspaper but considering okay one plastic bottle what will happen just throw it in dustbin so just think about this thing before throwing it in the dustbin please remember my points it can also be given to raddi wala wahan se bhi aapko 1 rupya mil sakta hai okay so the best part is which you it is not of uh, of you any use to any one so better to give it to raddi wala if it is recyclable material so this can we do, uh, do. and uh, the plastic bottles if you have uh, amount is more or number of plastic bottles are more in your home so you can also make your garden make your balcony green you can color these bottles you can uh, watch videos on uh, youtube for uh, diy diy you can create these bottles into uh, beautiful pots that is wonderful you just observe it on the <laughs> any of the site you will find different different ideas for doing this thing so this was for the thing which uh, we cannot uh, directly decompose but the organic waste the food vegetables uh, waste har kisi ghar mein banana peel hota hai i think so and everybody loves to eat uh, bananas fruit items sabjiyan to sare khate hi hain aur us waste ko hum dustbin mein jo fekte hain segregated at the initial stage 
in your homes maybe uh, many of you have garden small garden at your homes what you can do you can have one pit thoda sa dig hi karna hai usko aap dig kijiye koi extra space nahi maang rahe hum usse one pit aap dig kijiye whatever vegetable material whatever waste material peel off material of the vegetables you can without giving a single thought you can put it in your pit if you have garden at your home or small portion you can just spare that vegetable waste you can put there add small amount of uh, soil right dry leaves har kisi ghar mein kahi surrounding mein ped patte hote hain and they also get dried so you can add small amount of those leaves dry leaves not green leaves right those can be added into that just watch over it when you have made this kind of pit daily when you will add something next day you will observe it is settling down the size of the heap which you are creating it will settle down after a uh, few days it will you can just fill it with the vegetable waste you have to do nothing you need not to add anything small amount of soil if you can find dry gobar anywhere dry gobar uh, just consider uh, kisi village area se mil jata hai so you can add that into it small uh, amount of uh, leaves dry leaves you can add sprinkle with the little bit of water mix it and leave it after 4 5 days you can also again just turn it up then leave it you will find after 2 months yahan to humne koi vegetable waste dala hi nahi tha it will be like this thing what you have done simply aapke kitchen waste se jo bhi kitchen waste aaya you have ek chhota sa effort hai ki aapne us kitchen waste ko us site pe add karna isse zyada koi kaam nahi kaha gaya na we can do this thing after 2 months generally jo summer time hota hai it is uh, थोड़ा जल्दी बन जाती है विंटर्स में थोड़ा टाइम लगता है बट आपको थोड़ा टाइम में आपके ही गार्डन के लिए बहुत अच्छा गोल्ड मिल जाएगा जो मार्केट से आप कंपोस्ट खरीदते हैं ऑर्गेनिक कंपोस्ट यू गो फॉर मार्केट से जब बाय करते हैं यू पे फॉर इट एंड फॉर स्मॉल गार्डन इट कैन बी वेरी मच इन यूज यू कैन जस्ट क्रिएट इट यूर एट यूर ओन होम दैट इज वन वे इफ यू हैव नो गार्डन इन यूर होम्स वट यू कैन डू आपके घरों में कोई ना कोई बास बकेट टूट जाती है कभी कभी नीचे से कहीं उसमें कोई होल हो जाता है वट डू वी डू वी गिव इट टू रद्दी वाला और जस्ट थ्रो इट इन द डस्टबिन वट वी कैन डू वी कैन हैव एक वन पिक्चर यू कैन सी ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड दैट कंटेनर कैन बी यूज वेरी नाइसली यू कैन एड द सेम थिंग यू कैन एड इन दैट बास्केट एंड देन इट इज फुल्ड फिल तो आप उसको भी शेक करते रहिए थोड़ा सा बीच बीच में and uh, after 3 months laga lijiye it takes little more time in uh, soil it takes little less time but in uh, plastic containers it takes little more time so you can do this kind of thing or when you feel like it is now completely full filled you can add little bit of uh, curd suna hai sabne curd kya hoti hai you can add little bit of curd mixed with small amount of water and you can just put it in the this kind of uh, basket that it will degrade it faster koi kaam kar raha aapne zyada bahut bahut zyada labor lagi isme you can do by this or if there is one problem that foul, foul smell can be there so for that agar aap paisa kharch karna chahte hain we have trust bins it is available online you can just purchase it from there there is one packet they are giving along with it it's around 1500 cost and you just put vegetable waste in it add small amount of that uh, uh, jo packet milega aapko it degrade it within uh, 10 days and there will be no foul, foul smell if you want to spend money but agar if you don't want to spend money then the previous one you can do this kind of activity and it's not like uh, it will be really very bad you can keep it a little uh, at a far away place at a distance at a one corner where you are not visiting for frequent visit and when you are going nearby to it you can wear one mask 
this is a routine now these days wearing mask so you can wear that kind of thing and you can avoid that foul foul smell so these are this is a process uh, which is uh, requiring no kind of uh, worms this is one process of composting kuch bhi nahi lag raha isme sirf aapka ek point hai ki daily waste ko aap jaakar kahin ground mein pit mein dal rahe hain ya kisi aapne koi basket lagayi hai usme aap rakh rahe hain ab now in this trust bin you can just observe one small tap at the bottom why this small uh, tap is there the reason is when food degrades it releases some small, small amount of liquid aap gharon mein bhi dekh lijiyega agar aapke gharon mein kafi der tak vegetable sad jaye koi cheez to wo water discharge karna start kar deti hai but that is very very useful for the environment you can take that water from this small tap and use uh, in your pots whatever jo bhi aapke gharon mein agar aapne rakhe hain so you can add small amount of water and uh, just give it to the plants as fertilizers right it is a good fertilizer without any chemical inputs you can just uh, neutral, uh, neutralize your uh, you can just provide nutrients to your plants this is one way now what you have to include in the this thing because some of the things uh, we have to add without thinking any fruit vegetable waste jo bhi aapka hoga yes when we are using it without any worms we can add citrus fruit uh, waste also right but otherwise uh, we have to avoid little bit citrus when we are adding worms the next part is that then any le uh, leaves or dried flowers if you are it, it is at uh, your homes grass but it is it should be dried it should not be like wet uh, and uh, green part you are adding in that then a uh, small uh, amount of wood in case jaise gharon mein kaam chalta hai to lakdi ka kaam hota hai to usme bahut sara waste generate hota hai you can add that uh, waste into the uh, this composting site then uh, eggs and nut shells to small amount if uh, you have one basket only and you are adding maximum amount of egg shells that is not recommended you can add but small amount of egg shells uh, can be added not fully but because it provides calcium so it this this is it is also required for the plants then any rice bread wheat or whatever vegetables you eat that can be added in that uh, onion peel you can always add and with the onion peels you can create uh, you can produce a fertilizer how very simple this is another way uh, every home has uh, like vegetable uh, onion waste daily and it is around uh, Three, four onion. So I think everybody is using on the daily basis. What you can do? You can have one container. Just put that uh, onion waste in that uh, container. Add water in that daily basis. Pay three or four days. Guy, ikatha kijiye and just filter it after three four days. Add water and just supply it to your plants. Free of cost fertilizers. Otherwise, organic the waste the onion waste. we are throwing it in the dustbin and in compost when we add onion peels that takes little time because aapki wo peel jo hai it looks like thoda plastic ki tarah hi feel aata hai na uske sath aapko so it takes little uh, time to degrade but otherwise you can use that uh, first soak in the water filter it and use the water the rest part you can throw it in the compost pit तो कहीं कहाँ कहाँ गया वेस्ट आपका आपके किचन से तो नहीं जा रहा कहीं आपने एक बास्केट बनाई थी या साइड में कुछ रखा था यू कैन एड देयर सो यू कैन डू दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी बट द अमाउंट द मटेरियल विच यू कैन यूज इन स्मॉल अमाउंट एंड समटाइम्स दैट इज फूड सॉइल पेपर प्रोडक्ट लाइक यू पीपल आर नाउ दिस डेज जोमेटो इज देयर एंड स्विगी इज देयर एवरीबडी इज ओके फूड आ रहा है हमारे घरों में और रैप्ड होता है वो many times it is little cardboard boxes rehte hain aur ya fir thin layer of napkin rehta hai jisme wo so that can be added into the compost pit because that is not uh, of any chemicals the napkin jo aapke white napkins paper rehte hain they are purely wood piece one sort of so you can add that in the compost pit but uh, not uh, yes fill it with, with paper only that should not be done 
then meat and bones once in a while if by chance small amount went into the compost pit doesn't matter but specifically you are adding meat and bones parts then it will attract many of the animals or insects more so it can just uh, uh, create problem for the compost then seafood yeah shells please avoid it and dairy product yes milk kharab ho gaya to aap ja ke wahan dal doge although i suggested you for the curd but curd produces good bacteria which is uh, which helps in the uh, you can say degrading of that compost but other jaise paneer hai ya fir aapka milk hai direct you will not add into the compost pit any fat any oil any grease by chance kabhi phulke pe laga rahega aur aapne phulka dal diya waise to i am against the wastage of food but still kahi aapki ek bite thi aur aapne ghee laga bhi hua tha us pe and it is added into the compost pit doesn't matter much so please uh, do kind this kind of thing and specifically you have to avoid these kinds of things to be added uh, any plant if infected with any of the disease that should not be whether it is dried foam whatever aapne us pe sab kuch spray bhi kar diya koi uh, insecticide nahi hai us pe but you will not put it uh, in the compost pit then uh, green leaves you will not add any weeds jo aapki plants mein grow kar jate hain or by default hi grow kar jate hain green 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 that will not be added that cannot be part of the compost pit any poisonous plant like uh, different begia i am giving you one example you might have seen it or maybe aapke gharon mein hoga hoga bhi that is poisonous so that should that leaves should not be added into the pit any uh, feces of any of the pet animal you will not add in that right वैसे तो आप करेंगे भी नहीं वो बट कहीं सोच के कि ओके इट इज आल्सो वेस्ट नॉट वेस्ट ओके ऑर्गेनिक है तो इट कैन बी लाइक गाय का गोबर आप डाल सकते हैं तो व्हाई कांट वी ऐड द पेट फिट तो वी हैव टू अवॉइड दैट बिकॉज इट अट्रैक्ट्स मेनी ऑफ द अदर एनिमल्स सो फॉर दैट काइंड ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स ज्यादा आते हैं दैट्स व्हाई वी आर अवॉइडिंग इट एनी हैजार्ड्स केमिकल और क्लीनिंग जो आपके घरों में सपोज आप फ्लोर क्लीनर यूज करते हैं फिनाइल एंड एनीथिंग यू विल नॉट ऐड देयर प्लास्टिक एंड ग्लास मटेरियल यू विल नॉट ऐड इन द दो दीज आर द स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स व्हिच यू कैन नॉट ऐड इन द कंपोस्ट पिट देन दिस इज वन ब्यूटीफुल पिक्चर यस आई नो यू विल सो नो मैम दिस इज हाउ कैन इट बी ब्यूटीफुल बट दिस इज ब्यूटीफुल बिकॉज दीज आर द वंस व्हिच आर रियली रिस्पांसिबल फॉर मेकिंग योर वर्मी कंपोस्ट and the compost pit which you have created suppose you have created at one pit these worms are available in uh, udham uh, in uh, akhnur area also many people in rural areas many people do this kind of activity and uh, in uh, a, in a year there is there are uh, like four cycles reproduction cycles for the worms they can be taken the amount of uh, 1 kg worms is 600 to 700 rupees right so these worms are the reason for converting your waste into black gold so what you have to do if you are using worms just at that time you have to avoid onion peel in the compost pit If you are adding worms, because the pungent smell रहती है जिससे worms जो है dead हो सकते हैं तो just avoid uh, onion peels and citrus fruit peel. That two things you need to avoid when you are adding uh, worms into the pit. Otherwise, rest of the material you can add there. So, but how they will produce it? They will eat the vegetable food and their excreta. That will work as your compost, right? And this type of compost will be ready this is known as black gold which is really good for your plants you just add any sort of vermi compost in your plants you can check the growth of the plant and if you are adding no uh, compost or even chemicals you are using there will be difference in the structure or you can say shine over the plants if we are adding organic or inorganic so you can just uh, use it यहाँ पर एक मैं बोलना चाहूंगी हींग लगे ना फिट करी तो दैट इज द थिंग हेयर यू आर जस्ट एडिंग यूर वेस्ट विच वॉज नॉट यूजफुल फॉर यू बट यू हैव जस्ट एंडेड इट इन सम पिट आपको कुछ करना ही नहीं है इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली कन्वर्ट इन टू द 
आप उस पर एक प्लांट लगा दीजिए लेट जस्ट चेक इट्स ग्रोथ तो आपने कुछ किया क्या नथिंग सो दिस दिस इज द बेसिक प्रोसेस बाई विच वी कैन कन्वर्ट आर वेस्ट टू द ग्रोथ आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन थैंक यू